Well, I just feel like the luckiest girl on the backstretch because driving around back here, we just happened to run into Brian Hernandez Jr., our Oaks and Derby winning jockey. Brian, walk me through just the whole weekend. This has been uh, an unbelievable weekend, you know, to to show up Friday on a filly that we thought had a big chance and she jumps up and, and wins the Oaks. It was a... Uh, it was it was awesome, and then to come back yesterday. You know, we we came into the Derby yesterday. We we really had no pressure, and there was no no nerves whatsoever, and we were just really confident in Mystic Dan. And and then to to jump up and have the surprise of of a lifetime and and win the Kentucky Derby. That's that it still hasn't set in. You know, I just said I won the Kentucky Derby. I, I still can't believe it. It's a it's a lot of emotions, and it's it's been a lot of fun the last 24 hours or however long it's been. I don't even remember. <laughs> Now, when those gates opened and you got that nice trip with Mystic Dan, I mean, what were your thoughts? That was the, you know, we I'd been planning that all week long. We once once the draw came out last week and uh, we drew the three hole. That was that was my goal the whole time was just let him leave there running and, and get to the fence and, and save all the ground we can. The biggest thing is I just needed to find, envision just a couple horses to follow that would get me to the second turn. And fortunately enough. Uh, Track Phantom was the horse that that made the lead, and and he was he was a perfect horse to follow because he had he had some really good races down there in New Orleans. And uh, once we got our spot and going into the second turn, the nice thing about Mystic Dan is he's a, he's a type of horse where you can stop and go and stop and go, and, and he made three or four different stop and go moves for me. Once he turned for home and and busted through there, I was like, oh man, there's no way this is happening again. We're gonna win the Kentucky Derby. And right at the wire, I wasn't certain because those two horses that were second and third, they were so far out there. I wasn't certain that we held on. And when they finally hung our number up, it was like, it's still, it, it's not going to sink in for a while. Was there any, was, was there any point in the race earlier than the stretch where you thought I'm going to win this thing? The whole way, actually. Okay. There was the way he was traveling and as confident as we were in Mystic Dan, the minute we got turned down the backside of the three-quarter pole, I was like, man, we're going to win the Kentucky Derby. All I got to do is just sit here and, and just work out a trip our, our way through. And it was just it was a magical moment. You know, in racing, we, we do this every day. And six out of ten times, the trip doesn't work in our favor. But yesterday it did. <laughs> Kenny McPeak told us before the Oaks that Torpedo Anna had been working heads up with Mystic Dan and kind of kicking his butt a little bit. How would you compare the two horses? And yeah, that was the thing. We worked them a couple times down there in New Orleans. Uh, and Torpedo Anna, she was just kind of getting cranked up, and and she made Mystic Dan, she made him sweat it out a little bit. Right after right after he won the Southwest, we worked them together, and she made him work pretty hard. And uh, that's when we realized we were like, hey, we've got two serious two serious racehorses right here and that's the good thing about it is when you have two really talented horses like that and you're able to kind of match them up against each other a couple times in the morning it, it makes them it makes them stretch it out and makes them kind of toughen each other up and that's i think that's what got them both there brian thank you so much for your time i could not be happier for you we are so proud of you thank and you. we're looking forward to what's thank next from both these horses thank you, andy thank you it's uh it's great <laughs> back to you guys